Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enroll the 6 Mini CT door and window contact sensor with the Honeywell Lyric alarm system. The Honeywell 6 Mini CT, it's an encrypted door and window sensor that's a miniaturized version of the 6 CT. Um, the smaller door and window contact um, is appealing to some users because it is less noticeable on the door or window frame. Um, but the trade-off is that it doesn't have as far of a wireless range as the 6CT, which is a little bit larger. We actually have the other one uh, right here. You can see by comparison, the 6 Mini CT is mini. So um, if you want the smaller one, then this is the option. But the range isn't as long. Um, the 6CT has 300 nominal feet, and this one has about 200 nominal feet. So but if you're using it in a smaller home or your range isn't really an issue, you have a centralized panel, then um, you know, it really won't matter. Um, just remember that obstacles, thick walls, large metal objects can reduce range. There is no repeater for six sensors, so you can't repeat the signal, so that's about all you're going to get. Um, and also, the other trade-off is that this one does not have an, an auxiliary input. It doesn't have a terminal block for connecting a hardwired door and window contact and using this as a wireless transmitter. You can't do that with the 6 Mini CT. You can only use it as a traditional door and window contact sensor. But uh, we're going to en enroll ours today. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the sensor just so uh, we can get a look at the LED a little bit um, here. Usually I just pop it off. Um, well, that doesn't work. There we go. This side, right there. And then we can take it off. And we can access the CR2450 CR battery, um, lithium, lithium 3 volt. Um, you should only have to change that every few years with regular usage. But um, we see ours right now, the LED is blinking quickly because it's not enrolled. Um, so we're going to enroll ours today. And the Lyric has a special six programming mode where we can do exactly that. So we're at the main screen of our Lyric and we're going to choose security. We're going to choose tools. We're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 4112. And we're going to press program and we're going to press the down arrow. And then we're going to choose six programming. And now the Lyric is looking for um, a six sensor to add to the system. Uh, there are a few things you can do to uh, send a transmission signal. Uh, you can, if you're using it for the first time, there'll be a battery tab that you can pull to power on the sensor. You can also press the tamper switch here. Um, let's try removing the battery. Uh, let's, let's do that. So we got a, a screwdriver just to pull it out there. We didn't let it fall to the floor, which is great. And we're going to push it back in. And that did not power it on. Um, let's try pressing the tamper button here. And see if that gets the light going. There we go, we got the light going, so now we just have to wait for it to show up on the Lyric. And there we go, we have our 6 Mini CT here. Um, you can confirm the serial number. Um, we lost our sticker actually, but if you do want to check, then you can make sure. Um, but we're going to edit the zone settings now, so we have it highlighted blue, and we're going to click Edit. And then, um, it, it, because it's a contact sensor, um, it gives us the option screen here. Um, if we were using the, the regular 6CT, we would also be able to configure the terminal block. Um, but we don't have that. We just only have the option of the read switch, which we can disable if we wanted to. But then we really wouldn't be using the sensor. But we'll keep ours um, enabled with, by having the, the, the circle green. So uh, we're going to choose Edit. And now we're configuring the zone settings. So the serial number, we confirmed that. that it was auto-enrolled. It was fine. Uh, service, read switch, that's how we want to use the sensor, so that one's fine. The zone descriptors uh, serve as the name for the sensor. Um, and they'll also be spoken out along with the device type, um, if you have voice enabled on the panel. Um, so in this case, it would read front door. Um, and we can also do a second zone descriptor if we want to. Um, but let's say we wanted to add in a second zone descriptor, and we wanted to call it uh, living room. Laundry. Or we'll, we'll, we'll go with laundry. Why not? Front laundry. Front laundry door. That's what it's going to read out when we uh, fault the sensor later. Um, so um, remember, it will read the device type, so you don't need to add front door door. That would be silly. So it'll, it'll be front laundry door. And um, then uh, we, we need to do the response type. Um, the response types, uh, how the system responds when the sensor is faulted. Um, so this is a very important setting. Uh, the most popular option, really, uh, for a door, it's uh, the entry-exit ones. Um, so those mean that if the system's armed, that is armed stay or armed away, or even armed night, and you fault the sensor, then you'll have to disarm the system within an entry delay period, or else the system will go into alarm mode. Uh, so the entry delay period gives you a chance to disarm, to set your stuff down, to 
you know, take care of what you need to. You, you only have like a minute or so, but you can change the setting, um, but that's a different topic. Um, but make sure you give yourself enough of an entry delay time. Um, so, th so that's a popular one. Perimeter is also an option uh, that's commonly used for Windows. Um, perimeter means that if the system's armed and you fault the sensor, then it will go into immediate alarm. Um, you won't have a chance to disarm with the entry delay period. Um, so if someone's coming and going through the window, which isn't normal, um, well, I'm, who am I going to judge? If you use the window, that's fine. But most people don't. So if you um, set its perimeter and, uh, and that's your window, and then someone opens up the window while the system's armed, it'll go into an immediate alarm. And uh, the uh, system will take action by uh, sending out a signal as long as you have um, alarm report enabled right there, which we want ours to be enabled. So if you have alarm report turned off, then that means the system won't send out an alarm signal when this zone causes an alarm on the system. When, uh, assuming you have the system monitored, it can communicate with AlarmNet, which, which then forwards the signal to uh, Total Connect and or a central monitoring station. Total Connect can send you um, an alert via text and or email. And the monitoring station, they have highly trained dispatchers who will try and contact you to make sure everything's all right. If they don't get a response or you're not able to provide your false alarm passcode, then they'll send out automatic emergency dispatch in most cases, depending on the settings on your account. But uh, we want to have alarm report enabled in our case. Uh, we have a chime option, which can be used just as a little sound to let you know that the front laundry door has been opened. Um, so that this can be like something, even when your system's disarmed, it will make that sound. Uh, supervision. So um, this sensor, regardless of whether you have um, supervision en enabled or, or not, um, it will still be sending out continuous check-in signals with the panel. What supervision determines is whether or not the panel is listening for those signals. When you have it supervised, the panel is going to be expecting um, a check-in signal every 60 minutes. And you actually see the setting down here, and you can't change it. It's actually grayed out, and if I'm pressing it, nothing happens. So we can't do anything with that. Um, but we can change supervised or unsupervised if we want to. Um, but the sensor is sending out check-in signals regardless. It's just a matter of, is um, the system listening for them? And if it is, then it's going to expect a response every 60 minutes. Um, if the system doesn't receive a check-in signal, uh, maybe because the sensor is out of range, or because it's been powered down because somebody removed the battery, then you'll get an RF supervision loss trouble. So uh, in our case, we want ours to be supervised. So we're done with all these settings, so we'll choose Save, and we'll press Save again. And then we're, we see our sensor here, um, but we're going to show you it in the zone settings as well. Um, so we're back in programming here. I just want to close the sensor real quick. Um, we have uh, the battery right here, and we have the circular part there, and we just align them. And then we can just click it into place like so. And our sensor is closed. And we have a magnet right here. Um, we have an indentation on, on the side of the sensor right here to simulate the door being closed. So right now our door is closed, and I'll be demonstrating opening it in a second. But first, uh, let's go and look in our zones, and we can see our front laundry door is on zone 3. It's right there. We have, um, we have a, a battery signal and a, a signal strength as well, so we can see that our zone is there. Now we're going to go back to the main screen by repeatedly pressing the arrow in the upper right corner and the home button, and we're at the main screen of the system. And so right now our laundry, our front laundry door is closed. And so when I open the magnet, uh, when I open the door, the magnet's going to separate from the sensor, and we'll get the fault on the system. So let's demonstrate. Front laundry door. There. So we have a fault at our front laundry door. And if I go to the, the, home, the security screen, you can see that it's open right now. Open zone number three, front laundry. And then if I close it, we've closed the door, and we've restored it, and now we're ready to arm again. Now just one last time. Let me turn it this way. And so we're going to open up our, laundry, our front laundry door. Front laundry door. And there we go. Our, our zone is open and restored. We've closed the door. So that's how you enroll a 6 mini CT door and window contact sensor with a Honeywell Lyric alarm system. If you have any questions about the 6 mini CT or about the Lyric or alarm monitoring in general, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video, and remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.